So childhood experiences have a profound effect on shaping all aspects of a person's future. Perhaps nothing exemplifies this better than the case of adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, a collection of early events prior to age 12 that consist of abuse, neglect, and household dysfunctions like parental divorce. When researchers ask people to report on these experiences as adults, we see a striking and consistent pattern emerge. People who've experienced this early adversity are more likely to smoke, they're more likely to use illicit drugs, they're more likely to abuse alcohol, they're more likely to report depression and have a history of suicide attempts. More than that, they're more likely to have heart disease, liver disease, cancer, and all of the leading causes of death. Taken together, people who've experienced adversity 40, 50, even 60 years prior are prone to a reduced quality of life and ultimately earlier mortality. Now this pre presents as a serious public health concern given that two-thirds of people report at least one adverse experience and risk increases with additional events. This brings us to my research question. I want to understand how events that happen in a child's environment can get under the skin and cause serious health consequences years down the road. By identifying this underlying mechanism, we can hope to target interventions in order to stop this disastrous set of consequences before it begins. For my master's thesis, I developed and tested a model to address just this question. Sorry, <laughs> I've lost it also. <laughs> Uh, what we found is that when people uh, are reporting on these adverse experiences, uh, we see that they also have a set of cognitive deficits. Now these fall in the area of executive functions. This is a, a set of complex uh, cognitive thinking and reasoning skills that support pretty much all of our daily goal-oriented activities. So these can be things from driving to cooking to shopping. We also see that when executive functions go awry, a set of negative consequences emerge. And these resemble those that we see in people who've reported adverse experiences, things like poor mental and physical health outcomes and engagement in risky health-related behaviors. Taken together, we propose this model where executive function, or, or where, sorry, where adverse experiences are disrupting brain development in a way that causes poorer executive function in day-to-day -day life. In turn, people experience mental health distress, poor physical health, and engage in risky behaviors that are detrimental to their health. We propose that all of this combines to cause the earlier mortality that we see in people with early adverse experiences. Preliminary evidence from my research is showing support for this model. By identifying the neurobiological pathway that links early adversity with poor health later on, we hope to locate an entry point for intervention and ultimately hope to set development back on the right track. Thank you.